that was there in the January 10th photo, no for sale sign, mm -hmm. in the vehicle. Uh, February 7th, that's covered with snow. We're waiting for the February 8th, okay, I no. drove past. Mm -hmm. right. And the snow was off. So, okay, ready. We'll figure. Good evening. Welcome to the February 14, 2018 Planning Commission meeting, which is now called to order. Please join me in the Pledge of the Flag. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Laurie, roll call, please. David Esquerdo. Ken Carroll. Yes. Linda Streisick. Here. John Stanton. Yes. Jan Plateau. William O'Connor. Yes. Joe Casagrande. Here. Okay, next order of business is uh, approval of the meeting minutes from January the 10th. Um, are there any questions or comments? I'd make a motion that we table the minutes since several of the members were not here for the meeting. Do I have a second? I'll second that. That's your Commissioner Stavisic and Commissioner Casagrande. Okay. There is no other business. Do we have to roll call? Yeah. We have to roll, roll call. call. Oh, I'm sorry. Linda Streisick? Yes. Joe Casagrande? Yes. John Stanton? Yes. William O'Connor? Yes. Ken Carroll. Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, since there is no other business, uh, we'll go directly into new business. We only have one case tonight, and that is special use 18-1-2-1, Crest Hill Auto Sale, ENT, LTD, located at 1670 Theodore Street, to rezone from B3 to B3 special use. Uh, before we proceed, Lori, is all the paperwork in order? Yes, I have all the paperwork in order. Great. Thank you. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to open a public hearing. I'll make that motion. Commissioner Casagrande? Second. Commissioner O'Connor? Okay. Roll call, please. Joe Casagrande? Yes. William O'Connor? Yes. Linda Streisick? Yes. John Stanton? Yes. Ken Carroll? Yes. Motion carries. Now, uh, the public hearing <coughs> is now open at 7 4 p.m. At this time, I would like for the petitioner to uh, approach the podium, sign in, give me your name. Scott, I forgot to At that time, I will uh, give you an oath because this is a special use. And then I'm going to ask the city staff, city staff to give us a brief synopsis on the project, and then I'll ask you for your presentation, sir. Your name, sir? Jason Currier. Okay. All right. Raise your right hand. You swear to, solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you, God? I do. Okay. At this time, I would like to, I would request that city staff give, give us a brief overview on the project. Yeah, absolutely. This is a, a B3 special use request. Uh, the petitioner, Jason Kerger, owns and operates a uh, pretty reputable business already on Theodore, uh, the Milix and Mr. Transmission. What he's requesting is a special use to uh, sell automobiles on the westernmost part of that lot. Uh, he has actually uh, come before the city council prior to this meeting and uh, offered his thoughts on, on how he would like to operate that business and he's actually agreed to uh, some of the restrictions that uh, might go along with this b3 special use as far as how many cars can be on the lot at one time so uh, with that i would just uh, i'll open it up to to the petitioner okay sir um i'd like to open up a, a used car lot on the western side of my property um, i own the building currently it's has two separate businesses, uh, slots for businesses. One is 1670 and the other is 1680. Uh, the second business would be Chase Auto, Crest Hill Auto Sale Enterprises, um, which would be running out of 1670. Um, and uh, it would uh, 
be a separate business versus the Milex Mr. Transmission is run out of 1680. Okay. Any further comments? Uh, you changed the well, store. Well, hold on, Bill. <laughs> uh, okay. Any further comments from uh, from Scott or, or, or Mike? I do not. No. None? Okay. Um, okay. Any further comments from our fellow fellow commissioners here? I'm sorry, Bill. It's oh no, that's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you changed the storefront for sixteen seventy. That would be the auto sales spot. Correct. And Milex would still be operating. Out of sixteen eighty. Out of sixteen eighty, and all of the cars would be on the westernmost portion of the lot. Yes, sir. How many spots is that? Um, well, that was up in discussion with the, the city council uh, meeting. Um, we hadn't come to a solid number, but I, we were ranging between 10 to 15 cars um, with approval of the city, depending on which direction they went with. So. Yeah, and that, I think, is a stipulation that the city council will be putting in place uh, once he presents to them at, at the beginning of the month, should this pass. I think that in your estimation, it could be up to 15, correct? That's correct. And I think some of the council members thought that that was maybe a little too generous, but uh, Mr. Kerger did present uh, the reasoning behind it. He's done the measurements, and et cetera, so all of that was presented at the work session to uh, the city council. But uh, I think uh, they were leaning towards something less than 15. I don't know that anybody. Uh, yeah, we haven't. The, 10, the, so. the council hasn't come to a conclusion on that yet. Uh, you're more than welcome to recommend as well how many you think would uh, be able to stand on that lot at one time. So. Okay. Well, you Sorry, said no. that you'd be willing to go with whatever they recommend. I was definitely. Okay. Um, so no change to the parking. Not like you're extending the parking lot out. At all. No, <clears throat> the the triangle portion is already available. I, I own that property as well. Um, it's separate, and uh, so that section of property would be what I would designate for the used cars. And it will be paved, right? Paved lot. It is already paved. Okay. What is the average price range of the cars that you plan to sell? Obviously, that's something that we have more time to consider. But the range between five to twenty thousand would be probably the five to twenty. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Are the vehicles you already have inventory for? Or is it something that would just be that would be building? I would be buying them through the auction uh, trade-ins. Um, okay. From, from the service business or to the used car lot and refurbishing them and putting them out. Yeah, if I can just interject real quick, I'm going to pass along a map of where these where the car lot <coughs> is proposed to be. Uh, that was not in your packet this evening, but I will make sure that you all see it this evening so that you can have a better idea of where this is supposed to be. Okay. Will we be dealing with a uh, with a potential sign for your for your? I actually car? have two current signs available in the front of my property. Um, when I bought Milex, uh, Mr. Transmission was a second business owned by another operator. Uh, since he went bankrupt, I took over that second business. Uh, it's a franchise, and I co-branded them, Milex Mr. Transmission. Right. That will be on the top sign. Crest Hill Auto Sales will be on the bottom sign. It's already available. You just have the one sign with the two businesses. Huh? That's correct. Okay. Um, and lighting, um, yeah, will you have lighting in that in that <coughs> new lot for your cars, or with the size of where it's at in the space, the lighting from the building, which I have a floodlight on the front of it, um, should be ample for the, the hours of operation. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. The cars that are in that portion of the lot right now are they currently parked north south, or are they parked east west? They park north south. North south. Okay. Is 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 there any additional work that you need to do with the parking lot, or is it in pretty good shape? It's in good shape. Okay. I'll be sealing it next year, but that will be for yeah. both ends of the business. So. Is there anything to do? Can you do with the traffic flow in and out of there? You know, of course, I I, I drove over at your place the other day. And there are two course, entrances. Pardon me. There are two entrances to there. The, are? Yeah. Okay. And one I, by the Mr. Transmission, one by the Milex. Okay. Because I had a tough time getting no, in. Of course, there was 10 thing. inches of snow on the ground at the time. So. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, comments from the fellow commissioner? The only other comment I'd like to make is uh, I've been a customer of Mr. Kerger's for the last four or five years, and, and I can uh, attest to the fact that he's honest and responsible business owner. 
I mean, um, he's got businesses all around him, so it's not shouldn't be an issue as far as lighting you know, like yeah, that. lighting or 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 any of the neighbors having any problems with the, okay. the situation. It's always, you know, the parking lot is very orderly and clean, and I I don't okay. anticipate any problems with this. Okay. And I don't know whether this has come up before uh, this board before, but uh, one of the questions from the council was, uh, and I think Mr. Kerger said that he's actually obtaining his dealer's license, so it's not going to be, uh, he's going to be licensed with the state, and that was of concern to uh, the council as well, that it was not just him buying cars at auction and putting them on his lot for sale. So, okay. And uh, kind of expand on that, uh, the goal is to get the dealer's license through the state. Um, state won't approve without the city. Obviously, special use is required. Um, and then if this business does take off, then expanding to another location, which I have met with John Stanton uh, for a potential ground up. Um, regrouping since the available space, it's already zoned properly. It just needs a special use. Um, if this expands like my my Lexminster transmission business has grown, then I'll be looking to probably expand in the city of Crest Hill to a new location because we need to house more more units. But don't get too big before you can walk. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, any other questions? Uh, since there is no one in the audience here to either cross-examine or to comment on this project, uh, I'm going to dispense with that and uh, I'm going to ask for a motion to and close for, and the... And for the record it is 7-12 and nobody from the public has arrived, so... Oh, right. <laughs> so, I'll entertain a motion to close the... Uh, I'll make that motion. Second? I'll second. That's Commissioner Streisig, Commissioner Casa Grande. Okay, roll call please. Linda Streisig? Yes. Joe Casagrande? Yes. William O'Connor? Yes. John Stanton? Yes. Ken Carroll? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Public hearing is now closed at 7.13. <clears throat> okay. I would, at this point, I will ask for a motion to either approve or deny this request. I motion to approve. A okay. second. Okay. Commissioner Stanton? Commissioner uh, Streisick, roll call, please. John Stanton? Yes. Linda Streisick? Yes. Joe Casagrande? Yes. William O'Connor? Yes. Ken Carroll? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, Planning Commissioner is, is an advisory body which will submit tonight's recommendation to City Council who will decide upon the final approval or denial. Uh, this will be done at the, I guess, is to be the first mar uh, first council meeting in uh, in March, which would be around the fourth. Uh, that would be Monday, March fifth. Fifth? Yes. Sorry. Okay, March fifth. And if that's the case, I recommend that you be there. So, <laughs> thank you very much. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, since there's no one here for public comments, I'll ask: Are there any further comments that uh, my fellow commissioners would like to? State at this time. No. Okay. Well, I, the only thing I'll say: Happy Valentine's Day. It's a little late, but uh, uh, good for the start of Lent, I guess. Okay. I will right, well, now, at this time, attend, uh, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Mr. Casagrande, Commissioner Stanton, roll call, please. Joe Casagrande. Yes. John Stanton. Yes. Ken Carroll. Yes. William O'Connor? Yes. Linda Streisick? Yes. Motion carries. Very good. Mission. All right. Period at uh, 7.15. Very good.